All right, so we have a Google spreadsheet and we want to convert this data into a pretty looking chart. All we have to do is select our data by sweep selecting, or you can click on the first cell in the data set and shift click the last cell. It'll also then select your entire data set. Then come down to insert chart and it will give you some recommendations as to what charts we want. Careful, while this looks like it might be correct, we're actually counting how many times we used tablet, let's say, in column A, rather than aggregating how many minutes we used a tablet. So um, don't always just go by the recommendation. Instead, you can come over here to chart types and select the type of chart you want. Um, so you have some different types of bar graphs here pie charts and so forth. I'm just going to do a simple bar graph here. And what we really want is aggregating column A. If we don't select aggregate column A, as you see here, it'll make every row its own item in the data set along the x-axis. So we want to aggregate column A, so it'll group all of the group A's together. And now we can see that cell phone was used just for just over 150 minutes, and we can probably verify that if we were to do a manual calculation over here in our chart. Okay, afterwards, you can come over here to customization, and if you want to change the font or the name of the title or so forth, you can do that. Um, over here on axis, we can name the axes. So under a horizontal axis, this is the devices. And under the left vertical, we're gonna change count to time and minutes, like so. And then we'll click on insert. All right, and now we have a pretty looking chart. If we want to, we can edit the title of this chart. We can change any of the um, colors if we want to. Okay. And then afterwards, we can drag it where we want. What's nice is that it, you can also resize it, and it'll automatically um, resize your chart based on the shape of your constraints. So I can make it fit exactly where I want it to fit. And that's it. Okay, what's nice is that if I want to add anything to this data set, okay, it'll also automatically change my chart. So for example, if I realize that, oh, I was working on my homework, not on a tablet, but on a computer, I can change computer and you'll see that it automatically changed my chart over here as well. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. Thanks for watching.